Hey guys, this is Sahil from ACM Chapter IIT ASM Dhanbad and today we will solve this problem accurately of code forces round 652 div 2. So let's read the problem statement. The string S he found is a binary string of length n, a string that consists only zeros and ones. In one move he chooses two consecutive characters and if SI is 1 and SI plus 1 is 0, he can erase exactly one of them. He can choose which one to erase but he cannot erase both. The string shrinks after erasing. So the length of string decreases by 1. Lee can make arbitrary number of moves. He'd like to make string S as clean as possible. He thinks of two different strings X and Y. The shortest string is cleaner and if they are the same length the lexographically smaller string is cleaner so the thing that we get from this problem statement is that the smaller the string is the better it will be so let's try to understand our problem statement with an example let's take uh, this string for example so this is a binary string and we want to make it as clean as possible for this we have to make it as short as possible so if we take these two and replace them by one the resulting string will be one zero and now if we replace these two by zero then the resulting string will be zero the one result is that other thing we can do we can take these two and replace them by zero so if we replace them by zero so this string is obviously smaller than this one so this is the wrong approach now if you think uh, okay let's make it 10 and now at this step if we replace 1 0 if we erase 1 then the string will be 1 in that case also this is the better string so the thing that we have to do we is to make a smaller string as possible and uh, all by both uh, length and uh, lexographically so let's take some more complicated example for example one zero one one zero zero one zero zero so this uh, there are two ways to solve this st string either we can start from beginning or we can start from end let's first start from the beginning if we start from beginning we can convert this one zero into zero so our string will be zero one one zero zero one zero zero now we can replace this part as we have seen earlier into zero so our next will be zero one zero one zero zero now we can replace this part into zero so our answer will be oh sorry our answer will be zero one zero zero so uh, now we can replace this part also with the zero so our answer will be zero zero and if we start from the end so our string is this now first we what we do we make this zero so our answer will be one zero one one zero 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 the next thing we'll do is to make this string zero it can be made zero it will be just one more step than the previous one so the answer will be one zero one zero now we can take this string and make this zero so answer will be one zero zero and final answer will be zero so this string is better than this string so hence it is made clear that if we start sol solving the string from the end we will get a much better solution so oh, we have clearly seen that we have to start solving from the end so and the logic is this we can so the logic is very simple we can convert any string that consists of any order of uh, yeah these are the three
types of strings that uh, are mainly the part of our logic let's look these three strings closely we can convert is each of these strings into uh, what we can say zero let me prove you that for example first we can convert this string into zero so it will be one one zero then we can convert this into zero it will be one zero and this into zero uh, this is the sub part of this so this can be obviously converted into zero and this one zero can be converted into zero so one 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 zero so this can be sold further and further and at the end we will get one zero and zero uh, so we have to find uh, these three types of strings and replace them by zero to get our answer so what will be the time complexity so let's try to write the code first and then we will see the then we will see its time complexity uh, for is I have written code earlier let me just explain the code so one more thing we want to see that what kind of string we cannot solve if our string is something like that so we cannot solve this type of string because in this case si is 0 and si plus 1 is 1 yeah so now let's dive into our solution part so what we do is uh, we take our uh, we take the input of n and then we take the input of string then we initialize an empty string s1 uh, then what I do is uh, I take two pointers x and y x at the beginning of uh, my string and y at the end of my string let's uh, uh, make it more clear by an example so let's take an example from one of the test cases uh, this is complicated one so let's take this one control C yeah so this is my example so my X is at this position and my Y is at this position now just remember that we can't solve a string that looks like this so we have to eliminate all the zeros in the beginning of the string and all the ones in the end of the string luckily in this string we have no zeros in the beginning so my this while loop will not run in this case but it will run in some other case so my this while loop it removes all the ones all the my this while loop removes all the zeros that are in the beginning of our binary string and my this while loop removes all the ones that are in the ending of the string so after running these two while cases uh, my pointers will be x will be at the same position y will be at y will change its position now my string is this now what I do so now let's look at the, this part of the string no matter how complicated the part is if string consists of ones and zeros it can be simply converted into zeros it can be simply converted into one single zero but just by simply applying the those three strings that I shown you before uh, first case is this second case is this third case is this the number of ones and zeros are arbitrary I am just showing here you as an example these three strings can be converted into zeros as I have shown you earlier so let's try to apply this on our this code so for example our string is this so our f this will be our f uh, let me name them one two now so this part of the string will be our third case and by using our third case we can just remove this part and uh, replace it by a zero so our string will be one one triple zero 
now this becomes our first case and our first case can also be replaced by zero so this hole is replaced by zero so we can see that this whole thing from x to y can be replaced by zero a single zero so now we only have to take care of the three things uh, for example let us see our st string looks like this zero 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 and in the ending we have all ones so our x will be here and our y will be here yeah so we can replace the string from x to y with a single zero and all the other string remains the same so what I did here is that I made a new string s1 and now what I do is that uh, I have counted the zeros uh, the, that occur before a single one in my string and uh, I just uh, concatenate the number of zeros in my string s1 then uh, uh, this is the code here for that one uh, this will can concatenate the number of zeros that my string s had in the beginning of it so and uh, now this s1 uh, this zero is concatenated for the string that belongs from x to y as uh, with using my these three equations i can convert any of my string from x to y into zero and now this remaining part uh, this will concatenate the remaining y's uh, the remaining ones uh, that come in the string after uh, y so the remaining string will be the smallest possible string yeah, this is the smallest possible string we cannot reduce it any further and then we will output then we will output this s1 so let's try to submit that i have submitted it already let's try to submit it once again so here's our problem choose file b.cpp yeah the code is accepted thank you very much please don't forget to like share and subscribe